Hey guys, everything new under the sun. A um, little update on Fukushima. Because the news is continuing to come out. It uh, occurred in uh, 2011, uh, I guess, or a long time ago. <clears throat> Radiation at Japan's Fukushima reactor is now at unimaginable levels. This is foxnews.com. Uh, the situation is absolutely dire in uh, Japan. If I was there, and if I had any means at all, I would definitely would be uh, getting out of Japan. Because um, uh, anywhere, it doesn't matter which side you're on, <clears throat> what, what's part of the island. Um, if there's so much radiation coming out of this thing, you're probably going to be affected by it. Uh, whether through fresh vegetables, etc. Having high radiation levels or just uh, the water around Japan. <clears throat> The radiation levels at Japan's crippled Fukushima uh, are now at unimaginable levels. Adam Housley, who reported uh, from the area in 2011, reporting the, uh, following the catastrophic triple meltdown, said this morning that new fuel leaks have been discovered. He said the radiation levels as high as 530 sieverts per hour are now the highest they've been since the 2011 uh, tsunami uh, when the uh, <clears throat> when the tsunami hit the coastal. Reactor. To put this in very simple terms, four sieverts can kill a handful of people, he explained. He said the critics, including the U.S. military in 2011, have long questioned whether Tokyo Electric Power Company and officials have been providing accurate information on the severity of radiation. You know they're going to spin it as best they can to minimize the damage to their company, etc. I don't even know how this company is not bankrupt. TEPCO maintains that the radiation is confined to the site and not a risk to the public. It is expected to take at least 300 billion and four decades to fix it and you can easily double or triple that value <clears throat> at minimum i would think and not to mention expect the uh, uh, complete bankruptcy of tech tepco um, how can they continue to uh, pour money into this Hesley said small levels of radiation are still being detected off the coast of california and oregon and scientists fear it could get worse. It absolutely will, absolutely will get worse. Uh, um, radiation will continue to flow uh, across the Pacific there and hit the, the West Coast. If I was on the West Coast, I would seriously be considering uh, what the options are. Considering that this is, even in tiny amounts, this is going to start affecting uh, the health of people. Five years later, Fukushima radiation continues to seep into the Pacific Ocean. The worry is with 300 tons of radioactive water going into the Pacific every day, what is that doing to the Pacific Ocean? He added that critics are now questioning whether radiation has been this severe all along. And uh, the assumption is, <clears throat> or the implication is, it was always that bad. And uh, so whether you live in Japan or West Coast, uh, United States, Canada, um, I think this is trouble. This is bad because you got fish populations that are probably, you know, migrating back and forth, etc. And uh, they're definitely going to experience uh, being in contact with this. So if you're eating the fish, uh, you know, or eating, you know, fruit like I am, probably eating oranges from California and these sorts of things, um, is the groundwater starting to get um, infected, um, touched by uh, the radiation there in the Pacific Ocean? In is it in the groundwater. And um, even with that, the radiation is going to come around and uh, effectively dilute all the oceans. And uh, so we're all going to experience this uh, sooner or later, but it's definitely hardest hit is Japan and uh, west coast of uh, the U.S. and Canada, basically. It's, it's troublesome. Um, how does this play into end-time Bible prophecy? Uh, the Bible does speak of, um, was it sour sour water let me see if i can find the reference here all right this is revelation 8 and this um sort of uh, says something to the effect um i don't know if it's specifically talking about fukushima um but starting in verse uh eight and the second angel sounded and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and a third of the part uh, a third part of the sea became blood a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died and a third part of the ships were destroyed um, and a third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon a third part of the rivers and the fountains of the waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And a third part of the waters became Wormwood, and many men died because uh, they were made bitter. 
Now this water becoming bitter, this is uh, all in relation to radiation, wormwood, uh, Chernobyl apparently uh, translated uh, is wormwood. Um, and um, so obviously we know Chern Chernobyl is the um, location of the uh, last largest uh, natural radiation disaster um, in, in Russia there. And um, and so is this uh, part of uh, this prophecy? This prophecy seems to say uh, something, uh, you know, another a star falls and um, it's called Wormwood. Um, so this almost seems like um, something slightly different, but I think it's uh, part of the same thing. The waters became bitter and uh, they started poisoning man and uh, uh, is... Um, Fukushima, the run-up to this Bible prophecy being fulfilled, and uh, or or in addition to it, um, and part of the same stuff, uh, I guess is um, the <clears throat> the assumption there. It's not a direct relationship, absolutely, but um, you start seeing this stuff happen in the world, and uh, this starts adding up to like you know that sounds like um, you know some of the uh, some of the angels and, and what the angels were doing in Revelation, and you start adding this up, and and you know boy, it does look like that, and. You know, I'll leave it there. You can you can make of it what you will, but um, certainly <clears throat> Fukushima is a huge issue, and there's huge death and suffering um, coming out of this.